Back here at uh, Inglewood High School, they got their uh, festivities over with here at the National Anthem. Nice job done by the uh, Inglewood High School band. Now introducing the non-starters for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. And it looks like the starters here... The Fort Morgan starting lineup is brought to you by Cargill Beef. Cargill Beef is committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and continuously improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at www.cargill.com. It looks like they're starting some of the uh, seniors that don't usually get a chance to start. And that starting lineup tonight is going to be a 5'9 senior Jesus Reyes, 5'11 senior Harris Huff, 5'10 senior Brian Almanza, 6'4 senior Joy Snyder, and 6'2 senior Eric Kimball. And now introducing the starting lineups for the Inglewood Pirates. And those starters are senior Sean Bowering, freshman Brock Brazil, senior Wyatt Long, junior Cecil Ondak, and junior Peyton Martinez. So tonight we're look to get Eric Kimball over the eight point mark. If he does the eight points, the uh, that will tie him for the. Uh, League or the uh, overall scoring leader in Fort Morgan history. Nine will break it. Fort Morgan with the ball. Eric Kimball all the way up and good for the layup to start off the game for Eric Kimball. As Harris Huff jumped center for the Mustangs tonight. The opening tip was brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. With two locations in Brush and Fort Morgan, Ingmeyer Phillips can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or needs. So a steal on this end by the Mustangs. Jesus Reyes from the corner, and his three is, oh, is long. Rebounded by Kimball. Now to Harris Huff. Huff for a three, and that is off the back of the rim and no good. And rebounded by Bowering. They get the ball down court, and they're going to call a jump ball. And that possession will go to the, the Pirates as they will inbound right baseline of their basket. Bowering gets the ball in. Gets the return pass. His shot is no good. Into the hands now of Reyes as he gets the ball up court. Now Eric Kimball from the right side. Now to Joey Schneider for a three. And that three is short. Just catches the rim. Now a foul is going to be called on Jesus Reyes. His first team first. Inglewood to inbounds in front of the Fort Morgan bench. As Bowering will bring it in, he gets it in. Gets it into Brazil. He's being guarded by Reyes. Brazil picks up his dribble, now back out to Long. And we have a three-second call on the Pirates, so turn another turnover here by the, the uh, Pirates. So the Mustangs now in possession down at their end of the court. Harris Huff now out on the high right wing. Jesus Reyes now back to Harris Huff to Joy Snyder in the corner. Underneath to Eric Kimball and his jumper is going to be up and good for Kimball. Halfway there for the point to tie for the uh, all-time leader in points in Fort Morgan history. As the Mustangs are up 4 to nothing with six minutes to go here in this first period of play. Ball into the corner too long. His shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Brian Almanzas. He takes it down into the front court. 
all the way down the lane. His left hand layup is up and no good. Rebounded by Koronek. Brazil now all the way down. Stops and gets it off to Palestino. Now to Joey Schneider. Over to Brian Almanza. He is pushed from the back. And that foul will go against Colton Koronek. His first, team first. Now into the game is Ondak. He's coming in for Victor Palestino. Joey Schneider to Reyes. Now to Eric Kimball for a three from the corner. And that shot is up and good for Eric Kimball. So seven points on the night for Kimball. Next basket will put him over the top for the scoring lead in the uh, Fort Morgan history. Blocked by Joy Schneider. Bowering shot is going to be up and good. First two points for the Englewood Pirates. 7-2. to two. Reyes high right wing back to Almanza. Almanza to Huff. Now over on the right side to Reyes. Pass underneath to Joy Schneider. Now Eric Kimball. And this could be it right here. And that is the scoring title for the uh, Fort Morgan Mustangs. As he now has nine points in the game. That puts him at 1,042 points. So congratulations to Eric Kimball. Great uh, feat that he has accomplished here in his four years of high school at Fort Morgan High School. Now a second five coming in here for the Mustangs is Tate Kimball, Trey McBride, Grayson Garber. And that shot is up and good by Long. Also into the game for the Mustangs is uh, Derek Gherkin. So Garver, his pass in underneath is taken away by Ondak as the Mustangs up 9-4 to four with four minutes to go here. First period of play. Ondak out on the right side. Now they're going to cross court to Bowering. His shot is blocked by Trey McBride. Nice block j- blocked by McBride on Bowering. Englewood to inbounds left of their basket. Bowering now down the baseline. On deck for a three from up top, and that just crazes the front of the rim. Rebounded by McBride as he gets it up to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball all the way underneath, and it's going to be off of Koronek and out of bounds, so the Mustangs will keep possession. Inbounding left of their basket. They get it into McBride. McBride's shot goes up, but he is fouled on the shot. We'll see if it's going to go on Koronek. Let's see who they put it on. And I believe that went on Cecil Ondak, and that is who it is. There's second team foul, so McBride will go to the line to shoot two. And that free throw is up and good for Trey. 10 to 4 now for the Mustangs. 3.42 to go here in this first period of play where we've already seen Eric Kimball score uh, nine points to take the scoring lead for Fort Morgan Mustang history. Second free throw also good for McBride. Seven point lead here for the Mustangs. Martinez now gets it underneath to Kornick. Kornick's shot is going to be up and good. From the left side, now the Mustangs hustle the ball down court, cross court, and it's going to be out of bounds and off the hands of Derek Gherkin. Excuse me, Drew Gherkin. Brazil brings the ball up against uh, Gertner. Now into the corner to Martinez. He drives it into the lane. It's going to be taken away, though, by Tate Kimball. He has to run it down in the front court. It was off his knee, and it finally ends up into the hands of Martinez of Englewood. Kornick over on the left side. Now a shot from up top by Ondak is no good. Rebounded by McBride. He gets it 
into the hands of Garber. Now they're going to call Garber for the carry. Kind of lost control of it there a little bit. 2.50 to go here, first period. The Mustangs up 5, 11 to 6. As the Pirates inbounds far end of the court, get it into the hands of Brazil. Now gets it into the hands of Martinez out at the point, now to Ondak over on the left wing. Ondak drives it into the lane. Now they're going to have a foul called on the Mustangs. We'll see who that's going to go on. With 2.36 to go. And that's going to go on Trey McBride, his first. Pirates inbounds left of their basket as they get the ball in. Now over on the far side to Martinez. He drives it to the point. Back to Bowering. Bowering into the paint. And his layup is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by McBride. He gets into the hands of Garber. Bounce pass to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball. There was a foul underneath. I believe that was on Bowering. He pushed Gertner down. So that's Bowering's first, team third. 2.19 to go. Mustangs up 5, 11 to 6. They look to get the ball in. McBride out high on the left wing. Now gets it into the hands of Garber. Now over to Gert- to uh, Gherkin. Now Gertner on the left high wing. Tate Kimball's going to drive it down, and his shot is going to be blocked by the taller on deck. We don't have any uh, heights here for these Inglewood Pirates, but on deck is probably probably a 6'4 or so. So 2.02 to go here in this first period of play. They get it into the Gertner now to uh, Tate Kimball. Now to Gertner out on the left high wing, now to Kimball. Kimball's layup is going to be up and good from the left side for Tate Kimball. 13 to 6. As Austin Carl is getting ready to check in for the Mustangs. And just a kick on the Mustangs is called as Nate as a Gertner comes out. Austin Carl into the game for the first time tonight. On deck now underneath the two Bowering. Now they're going to call a travel on Bowering. It's a nice job as Gherkin and McBride kind of closed in on him, made him shuffle his feet before the shot went up. A minute 36 to go here in the first period of play. The Mustangs up 13-6. to six. As most of the regular starters are on the bench except for Trey McBride. Now underneath is going to be taken away by Kornick. All the way down, it's going to be Bowering from the left side up and good. Four points on the night for Bowering. Gherkin now on the left side, kicks it back out to Tate Kimball. Gherkin now at the point, picks up his dribble, now gets it to Tate Kimball on the right baseline. Kimball is going to go up for the shot, and there is a foul called underneath on the shot. So Tate Tate Kimball will go to the line to shoot two. That was Martinez with his first. So Tate Kimball to shoot a pair. And that first free throw is up and good for Kimball. Three points on the night for Kimball. The first Fort Morgan basket of the game was brought to you by Morgan Federal Bank, a bank that is committed to their community and keeping banking simple. When you need banking advice, stop by and see one of their loan officers Monday through Friday at 321 Ensign. Morgan Federal Bank, there is a difference. Second free throw by Kimball up and good. Bowering now for a three, and that is up and good. Four-point game here with under 40 seconds to go. First period. Cross court to Tate Kimball. We'll see if the Mustangs want to try to run this clock out. And it's going to be taken away over on the left side by Ondak. Now they're going to call a foul. We're going to see if the foul was called, if they got a timeout called. So I don't believe there's going to be a foul. I believe they gave the timeout to the Inglewood Pirates. Only a 30-second timeout, so we will keep it here. It 
in the previous meeting when these two teams got together back on January 27th. Uh, the Mustangs won 78 to 51. Eric Kimball leading scorer that night was 17. Trey McBride close behind at 16. Tate Kimball with eight. So last regular season game here for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. And we'll find out Sunday evening from Chassa how the brackets will be set up and where they will have to go play. But we know it will be a week from tomorrow, the 27th of February, when the Mustangs will play their first state playoff game. Ball back in bounds, now to Bowering. Kicks it off to Cornet. Now back to Bowering. Being guarded by Kimball. Now into the corner. Now back out to Kornick. As they look to run this down. The ball is going to be... It was taken away, but they're going to call a travel. So seven-tenths of a second left here in this first period of play. The Mustangs up four, 15 to 11. So turnover by Inglewood. Now the Mustangs to get the ball in. McBride shot is up and off the top of the backboard and no good. So at back here at Inglewood High School, the Mustangs up four, 15 to 11 to start this second period of play. Nate Gertner, Tate Kimball, Eric Kimball, Trey McBride, and Joy Schneider into the game. More of their ori their uh, original lineup. I think the uh, I think Coach Unrine tonight was just trying to get some playing time for his seniors. This will be their last regular season game as far as being able to start for the Mustangs. Ball tipped out of bounds far side, so the Mustangs still in control. They get the ball into Tate Kimball. Kimball out at the point. Now to Joey Snyder out on the left high wing. Now the ball is going to be tipped as Trey McBride was cutting to the basket on the baseline. Tipped out of bounds by Koranek. Eric Kimball to inbounds as they do get it into Schneider. Now to Nate Gertner. Back to, Schneider, back to Schneider, excuse me, now to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball in the lane. His little runner is up and no good. Rebounded by Schneider. And bounced it off the leg of Koranek and out of bounds. So the Mustangs will retain possession. Right baseline of their basket. Eric Kimball looks to get the ball in. They do get it into Gertner out on the high right wing. Now to Eric Kimball over on the left wing. Trey McBride in at the post. That shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded and put back in by Joy Snyder. Six-point lead here for the Mustangs, 17-11. to 11, With less than a minute gone here in this second period of play. Bowering now gets it off into the corner to Martinez. Shot is going to be up and no good. Long rebound. It's going to be taken away, tipped out of the hands and into the hands of Gertner. Now they're wrestling for it underneath. We'll see who it's off of. And they're going to say it's off of Fort Morgan and out of bounds. So, nope, they just changed their mind. That re overruled at half court. So the Mustangs will retain possession. Far end of the court, Eric Kimball to throw in. Now cross court to Nate Gertner. Have a blocking foul on. Englewood Pirates. We'll see who that is going to be on. I believe that is going to be on 30. Martinez once again. That will be his second. Now the inbounds get it into Schneider. Back out to Tate Kimball as they set up their offense. Eric Kimball now over to Gertner on the right side. Eric Kimball for a three from up top and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Koranek. They get it up to Bowering. On deck now from the left side. His three is up and good. His first bucket of the night. Shot is blocked at the far end and then steps out of bounds is Koranek. So Fort Morgan to retain possession. Eric Kimball looks to get the ball in. 
Gets it into Tate Kimball. Now back out to Nate Gertner. Schneider in the right corner now cross court to Tate Kimball. In the lane now to Eric Kimball. Then underneath to McBride. His shot is up and no good. He gets the rebound and it will count on the shot. And he is fouled. So nice strong move by McBride. And that foul is going to go on Bowering, his second. So Trey McBride will go back to the line to shoot one, where he was earlier two for two. And that one is also up and good for McBride. Five points on the night for McBride as the Mustangs up six, 20 to 14. Now they're going to have a blocking foul called on Eric Kimball. That will be his second. Inglewood to inbounds midcourt. Bowering looks to get the ball in. They do get it into Ondak, being guarded by Schneider. Now underneath is going to be tipped away by McBride into the hands of Gertner. Now into Joey Schneider, and his layup from the right side is up and good for Joey Schneider. Four points on the night for Schneider. The Mustangs up eight, 22 to 14. Brazil now has the ball taken away from him. Gertner with the ball. He gets it up to Eric Kimball. His pass inside is going to be taken away, though, as they get the ball out to Brazil. Now it's tipped away. But it's going to go out of bounds and off of Eric Kimball. So Englewood will inbound the front of the Mustang bench. Mustangs up 8, 22 to 14 with 5.28 to go here in this first half of play. On deck now gets it to Kornick. Back out to On deck. Now to Bowering for a three from straight away. And that is up and no good. Rebounded by Trey McBride. He gets the ball up quickly to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball's going to take it all the way down. Nothing called. But the rebound is up and good by Joey Snyder. And now a timeout has been called here. So we'll take one with him with 5.06 to go. The Mustangs up 10. 24 to 14 on B106 and B106.com. Back here at Englewood High School with Claudia Nickel. This is Brian Nickel as we bring you the Fort Morgan Boys basketball game here, the last regular season game. And they are up 10, 24 to 14. Now Fort Morgan with full court pressure. And that is tipped away and taken by Tate Kimball. Gets it back up into the front court. Now over on the right side to Nate Gertner. Eric Kimball over on the left side drives it into the lane. Back out to Tate Kimball. Drives it all the way down the lane. His shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Toby uh, uh, Trey McBride. His shot is up and no good. And it's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Joey Snyder and out of bounds. So let's see if Fort Morgan will really both stay with their full court press. Brian Almanza now comes in for the Mustangs as Nate Gertner will come out. Bowering gets the ball in the backcourt to Brazil, being guarded. That's going to be double teamed in the backcourt. Now back to Bowering. They get the ball up to Martinez, being guarded. Now back to Bowering and knocked out of bounds by Joey Schneider. Now Harris Huff into the game for Trey McBride. So one more substitution here for Englewood as on deck goes out and Palestino comes in they get the ball in to Kornick as he's being guarded by Schneider now to Bowering back to Kornick out at the point being guarded by Joey Schneider now into the corner by Martinez that three is in and out rebounded by Schneider gets it into the hands of uh, Brian Almanza Tate Kimball now on the right side to Joey Snyder at the right baseline. Back to Eric Kimball out on the high right wing. Harris Huff for a three from the far side. And that is up and no good. Rebounded by Koronik. Mustang still up 10, 24 to 14 with 3.50 to go here in this first half of play. Brazil now to Koronik. His shot is no good. Rebounded by Palestino but taken away by the Mustangs. 
Tate Kimball in for the layup from the right side, but over the rim and no good. Rebounded by Bowering. Now they get it into the hands of Palestino, but he bounced the ball on the baseline. So a turnover by Englewood as the Mustangs will inbounds baseline. Martinez comes out. Wyatt Long back in for the Englewood Pirates. Tate Kimball now gets the ball across half court, gets it over to Harris Huff out on the left high wing. Now to Tate Kimball on the right wing. Get it underneath to uh, Joey Schneider back to Almanza. Now to Harris Huff on the left side. They're going to call Huff for the travel. So 3.03 to go here, 24 to 14. Mustangs as the low scoring affair going on here. The Mustang defense, though, has held uh, the Pirates to just three points here in this second period of play. Now the ball is going to be taken away by Kimball. He's going to take, take it down and then go under the basket. Now underneath to Tate Kimball as he cut to the basket. Nice job by Tate Kimball on the follow-up. 12-point lead for the Mustangs, 26-14. Jesus Reyes getting ready to come in for the Mustangs. It's going to be rebounded, taken by Eric Kimball. As they look to hustle the ball up, he's going to take it all the way down, and shot is no good, but he was fouled on the shot. So Eric Kimball will go to the line to shoot two. And that is on Kornick, his second Tune into 1010 Preps and more weekdays from 1 to 2 on 1010 KSIR for the latest in high school sports with John Beltran. First free throw is up and good for Kimball. Trey McBride back into the game. Harris Huff comes out. 2.25 to go here first half. Mustangs up 27-14. Next free throw is up and no good. Rebounded though by Tate Kimball. Gets it into the hands of Almanza over on the right side. Eric Kimball now into the lane. His little jumper's in and out. And McBride tried to get it, but Ondak comes away with it. Now they're going to have a reach foul. And I believe that's going to go on Tate Kimball. be his first. Team fifth. Seven team fouls on the Pirates. As they inbounds midcourt, they get it into the backcourt to Brazil. Being guarded by Almanza. Screen out top. Now they're going to get it to Ondak in the corner. Kornick now out on the left wing. Bowering. Cutting to the basket. Gets the pass. And the basket is up and good by Sean Bauer. 11 point lead here for the Mustangs. Under two minutes to go. In the second period of play. Tate Kimball with the ball. Gets to Jesus Reyes over on the right corner. Now to Almanza on the left side. As the Mustangs now back to Jesus Reyes over on the right side. They get it into uh, Eric Kimball. His jumper is going to be short, but rebounded up and no good by McBride. And the ball is in the hands of Brazil. Now into the hands of Long. Kornick now tries for a three, and that is up and good. For Kornick, five points on the night for Kornick. Now they're going to have a foul called, and that will go on Bowering. That will be his third. So he's going to come out for the last minute and two seconds. So Jesus Reyes will go to the line to shoot a one and one. Trey McBride, Brian Almanza come out. Grayson Garber and Austin Carl in for the Mustangs. Jesus Reyes on the year is, uh, he's only shot three. He was 33%. That one's off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Kornick. Down court now, and that shot is going to be up and good by Martinez. So a six-point lead here. Grayson Garber for a three, and that is up and good from the left side. That was a deep three. And he took advantage of him. Back up to a nine-point lead. 
Kornick now gets it off, gets it back on the pass from Long. Now Brazil out at the top with 30 seconds left. Kornick going to light up for another three, and that just banked in that time. So a six-point lead here for the Mustangs with 20 seconds to go. Tate Kimball can't get a foul called. He tries to go up with a shot, and nothing called. Rebounded, taken away by the Pirates with 10 seconds to go. Now they're going to get it into the hands of Kornick. That's going to be tipped away and taken by Tate Kimball as he gets it up to Austin Carl. And Carl misses the layup and out of bounds with four tenths of a second. But it will belong to the Mustangs. Austin Carl on the wide open layup. Jesus Reyes comes out and Drew Gherkin back into the game for the Mustangs. Up six. Tip in and good for Eric Kimball, and it does count. Nice lob pass. And I don't know what they're. Heard the whistle blow, but it, it does count. So the halftime, the Mustangs are up 32 to 24 on B106 and B106.com. Back here at Inglewood High School with uh, Claudia Nickel. This is Brian Nickel. Halftime, the Mustangs up 32 to 24. In the Colorado 7 League tonight, the Al- Alameda is at Skyview. Elizabeth is at World Central. And tomorrow night will be Vista Peak at Fort Lupton. The standings in the Colorado 7. Vista Peak is first at 12 and 1. Fort Morgan is second at 11 and 2. Elizabeth at 10 and 3. Fort Lupton 7 and 5. World Central at 5 and 8. Skyview at 4 and 9. Alameda at 2 and 10. And Englewood is winless here so far this year, 0 and 12. In the uh, Colorado 7 League. And I'm sure the Mustangs are going to, to uh, keep it that way this would, as they get ready to go into playoffs next a week from tomorrow. As I had said earlier, they will get the brackets together on Chassa uh, Sunday evening, Sunday late afternoon, possibly. And you can always go on there yourself if you want to go see what the brackets are going to look like at chassa.org. And uh, go to boys basketball and bring that up. The girls will also be playing next Friday. We just don't know where or when. And that bracket will also be set to go. So here the second half of play gets started as Bowering gets the ball in. It's going to be tipped away. Should have been a foul on Brazil as Jesus Reyes tried to get to the ball. Kornick now picks up his dribble being guarded by Reyes. Now they get it back into the hands of Brazil. Bowering now on the left side. His two is up and good for Bowering. First two points of this second half. Oh, off of Harris Huff and out of bounds. It was first tipped by Englewood, and then Harris Huff had it go off of his hands and out of bounds. So Brazil now to bring the ball up past half court, being guarded by Reyes. Now into the corner to Kornick. Picks up his dribble now. He hands it off too long over in the right corner, being guarded by Reyes. Now they get it underneath. And that shot is going to be up and good by Palestino. His first bucket of the night. About down to a four-point game, 32-28. to 28. Harris Huff now out on the right wing to Almanza out at the point. Zone defense here by Englewood. Now to Joy Schneider to Eric Kimball in the right corner. And that shot is up and no good. Rebounded and tipped around to Brazil. And it is tipped away and finally taken by Jesus Reyes. Takes it down. His layup is up and no good. Rebounded by Bowering. Now they get it down into the corner to Long. Now back to Bowering. Long in the corner and his three is up and no good. Run down in the corner by Brian Almanza. Nice hustle job by Almanza. See little layup from the right side is going to be up and good. First two points of the night for Almanza. 
Makes this a six-point lead once again. Powering out high on the left side, being guarded by Kimball. Now it's going to be to Brazil, and that three is up and good from the right side. Eric Kimball over on the left side being guarded now to Joey Schneider. Here's a little jumpers off the front of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Brazil. Three-point lead here for the Mustangs, 34-31. Trey McBride and Tate Kimball and Nate Gertner getting ready to come back in for the Mustangs. Brazil now gets it to Kornick out at the point. Kornick gets it back to Brazil, and his three is off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Harris Huff. Nice job by Huff to get it into the ball, into the hands of Eric Kimball. His jumper from the right left side is up and good for Eric Kimball. Brazil now gets the ball up court, gets it into the hands of Kornick. Bowering now out at the point, being guarded by Kimball. Now underneath, the layup is going to be up, but no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneider to get it into the hands of Jesus Reyes. Now to Harris Huff. Into the lane, now back out to Brian Almanza out on the high right wing. Zone defense here once again by the Englewood Pirates. And Reyes open underneath, can't get the ball to fall as he was wide open underneath. Brazil now to uh, Long, and that shot is going to be up and good, though, by Brazil as he got the pass back. So three-point lead once again for Fort Morgan. Reyes now in the lane, gets it to Joey Snyder. Now Harris Huff at three from the corner, and his shot is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Brazil. So Fort Morgan come out here sloppy in this first part of this uh, third period. Now Tate Kimball, Trey McBride, and Nate Gertner come in for Reyes, Almanza, and Huff. Pirates will inbounds in front of their bench. So you get the ball into Brazil. Out on the high right wing being guarded by Tate Kimball. Now to Bowering. Now a three from the corners off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Eric Kimball. He gets it up to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball is going to take it all the way down. And that layup is going to be up and good for Tate Kimball from the right side. Five point lead here for the Mustangs with 3.31 to go here in this third period of play. Brazil. Gets it to Bowering. He is double teamed out at the left point. Now gets it back. On deck. Underneath is shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Snyder. He gets it up to Tate Kimball in the front court. Tate Kimball takes it all the way down and off of Bauer, out of uh, the Kornick and out of bounds. Yes, Coach Enrein tells them what play they want into. Joey Schneider now back cross court to Eric Kimball. Joey Schneider to Nate Gertner now underneath to McBride. McBride's shot is going to be up and no good. Gets his own rebound. His left once again no good. Run down on the far side by the Mustangs. Now to Eric Kimball on the left side. And his shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Ondak. So they get it into the hands of Brazil. He's going to take it down. Now they're going to kick it off to Kornick in the right corner and that is going to be good for a three so a two point lead here for the Mustangs with 2.30 to go here in this third period of play now a bad pass by Snyder as it was taken by Ondak Kornick now stops bowering over on the left side his three is going to be well short and fought for down at the baseline they're going to have a jump ball called and that possession error will go to the Mustangs. Up by only two. As they will inbounds far into the court, get it into Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball now to Nate Gertner out on the left high wing. Tate Kimball for a three from the left side, and that is off the rim and over the backboard and no good. So possession to the Inglewood Pirates. As Martinez gets it in as 
to Brazil. Full court press here once again by the Mustangs. They get it into long. Now back up. It's going to be tipped away momentarily, but still taken by Brazil as they get it up into the front court. Now a three is going to be up and no good. Long rebound is going to be controlled by Englewood. It's now long in the corner. Stops and pops for a two, and that is up and no good. And we'll see who is out of bounds. Apparently Eric Kimball was on the baseline when he tried to save the ball in. So Englewood will inbounds left baseline of their basket as they get the ball into Brazil. Now back to Ondak, and that shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Gertner. 38-36, Fort Morgan with a minute 22 to go. That ball slips out of the hands of Kimball and on the baseline. So Fort Morgan to inbounds, or excuse me, Liz, the uh, Inglewood Pirates to inbounds. They get it into Brazil. Back over to Martinez. Now Brazil takes it up into the front court, tipped away. Oh, what a late call. Fort Morgan already had possession, was headed down court, and they called the foul. And that is going to go on Tate Kimball, his second. So Englewood will inbounds far side as they get the ball into Brazil, being guarded by Eric Kimball. Now double teamed out at midcourt. Now a jump ball is going to be called possession arrow to Englewood. So they will inbounds far side with a minute two to go here in this third period. Mustangs only up to 38-36. As they look to get the ball in and do get to long, and that shot is going to be up and no good and over the backboard. So possession to the Mustangs far into the court with 58.8 seconds to go here in this third period of play. Fort Morgan has scored only six points here in this third period of play. The Pirates uh, look uh, 14. Now underneath to Joy Schneider, but he can't quite get the layup to go as the lob to Schneider. And then ball out of bounds, possession to the Pirates with 42.9 seconds to go. Fort Morgan with full court pressure. Ball is going to be taken by Joey Snyder. His shot is going to be up and no good, but he will go to the line to shoot too as he intercepted that inbounds pass. And that foul, I believe, was going to go on Martinez, his third. So Snyder to the line to shoot too. This will be his first trip to the line tonight. Mustangs up to 38-36. That one's off the front of the rim and no good. High Plains Bank offers a wide variety of products that can be customized to fit your individual needs. See what over a century of customer service can do for you at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. So on the night, Schneider with six points. That next free throw also off the front of the rim and no good. Misses both free throws. Now they're going to call... Eric Kimball with the reach foul, and that will be his third. So 38 and a half seconds. Still up just two. So he gets the ball in two. They're going to call the travel. That was a good call over on the far side. As Kornick received that ball and took three steps. So the ball... Ball is in to Tate Kimball. Looks like Mustangs may try to run this clock down here to end this third period of play. Extend the defense here by Englewood as they are still in a man-to-man -man defense. Oh, and then Tate Kimball cuts to the basket, and Eric Kimball had passed it to where he was. So that ball goes out of bounds into the hands of Koronek. Now into Brazil with 18 seconds to go. Brazil being guarded by Nate Gertner. Now into the corner to Kornick. Now to Brazil. Long now. Brazil now with it. It's going to be taken away by Joey Schneider. And his long three will go up. Oh, it's off the front of the rim and no good. 
So at the end of three, the Mustangs up by two, 38-36 on B106 and B106.com. Back here to start this fourth period of play with Claudia Nickel. This is Brian Nickel and Michaela Clipper back at the studios for us in Fort Morgan tonight. Mustang, let's see, it will be possession to the Mustangs to start this fourth period of play. So we'll see if we can get some points up here and get this point spread a little more comfortable other than just the two points as Almanza gets it into Tate Kimball. Now to Eric Kimball out on the high right wing, left wing, excuse me. Tate Kimball in the corner. Now to Joy Schneider back to Eric Kimball. Almanza on the high right side. Now to Tate Kimball. His little jumper is going to be off the rim and, and does bounce in. So Tate Kimball, 10 points on the night as the Mustang trap once again. They get it to, into the hands of Bowering. Now a three from deep, and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Kornick. Going to be taken by Tate Kimball as he hustles it up court. A reach should have been a foul called. Nothing called, but it's off the Inglewood and out of bounds. So Eric Kimball to inbounds right baseline of the Mustangs basket. As they get it into Schneider. Now they're going to say it's off of Schneider and out of bounds as he was being pressured by Kornick. So the Mustangs with the pressure in the backcourt as Bowering brings the ball up court. Picks up his dribble now to Ondak. Ondak is going to be called for the travel. Nice call there by the ref. So see if Fort Morgan can take advantage of this turnover and get some points on the board. Tate Kimball off to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball into the left corner, drives the baseline. Now they're going to call an offensive foul on Eric Kimball. He drives the baseline. That will be four on Kimball. So we'll see who Coach Unrein wants to bring into the game. And Nate Gertner is coming in. As Kimball comes out with four fouls with 7.07 to go here in the fourth period of play. You get the ball into Brazil being double teamed in the backcourt. Now to Hondak as he gets it up the court. He's going to take it all the way down, and his shot is going to be no good, but they're going to call a foul. I think that's going to be on Trey McBride. That will be his second, and that will send Ondak to the line to shoot two. Mustangs up four, 40-36 with 7-on-1 to go. Ondak, first free throw is up and good. Colorado Plains Medical Center accidents and illnesses strike day and night and every second counts. As a level 3 trauma center, Colorado Plains Medical Center is ready to handle any type of emergency. Second free throw is up and also good for Ondak. So back to that two-point lead for the Mustangs. Gertner in the uh, left corner. Now back out to Tate Kimball at the point. Almanza out of the way high right wing. Nate Gertner now lines up for a three, and that is up and good for Nate Gertner. Nice to see that for Gertner. That's his first bucket of the night. As they get the ball into Brazil, still with the full court press, but they do get it past half court. Now Bowering for a three from the point, and that is in and out. Rebounded. They're going to have a foul called, and that will go against Kornick as he is over the back of Joyce Snyder. So the Mustangs need another bucket here. Get this spread here just a little bit more. It's only 5, 43 to 38. With just under six and a half minutes to go in the game. Brian Almanza out at the point. Now to Nate Gertner over on the left side. Back to Almanza at the point. Nate Gertner lines up for another three. And that is up and good for Gertner. Back to back threes for Gertner. Up to an eight point lead. 46 to 38. As the Mustangs work on the uh, Brazil, but now the Inglewood Pirates will call a timeout. We're trying to see if it's a full timeout or just a 30-second. Looks like they're going to the bench, so it is a full timeout. So we'll take one with them. The Mustangs up 8, 46-38 on B106 and B106.com. 
6.03 to go here in the fourth period of play. The Mustangs up 8, 46 to 38 over the Englewood Pirates here in Englewood as the Pirates get the ball into Brazil, being guarded by Gertner. Gertner's had two back-to-back threes. Now Bowering gets it off to Martinez. Now on deck for a three, and that is off the back of the rim and no good. Rebound and is finally going to be taken away by Gertner as he is should be off of Kornick and out of bounds as Gertner throws it off of Kornick's leg. So Fort Morgan to inbounds far into the court. Almanza gets in to take Kimball. So we'll see what Fort Morgan does here with this possession. Nate Gertner kicks it out to Almanza at the point being guarded by Brazil now in, into McBride. He kicks it back out to Almanza. Now Tate Kimball drives it down the lane. Layup is going to be up and no good. It looked like he was hit, but they didn't call anything. Now it's going to be taken away by uh, Martinez. Bowering now gets it back out to Martinez at the far end. Kornick lines up for a three, and that's off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Schneider. Zeal is no good, and Almanza is going to be fouled in the backcourt, and that will be Bowering, and that will be his fourth. So Eric Kimball getting ready to come back in for the Mustangs. McBride will take a seat with 4.50 to go. As the Mustangs will inbounds far into the court, it looks like they're going to go, the uh, Pirates will go to a man-to-man defense. Tate Kimball now brings the ball up across half court, tipped away behind, but to Almanza. They get the ball into Kimball, but, oh, Kimball has a bad pass as Gertner was headed to the basket. So out of bounds and possession to the Englewood Pirates with 4.36 to go. And Fort Morgan with full court pressure once again. They get the ball into Ondak in the front court. Now back to Bowering. Bowering's jumper, a little layup from the right side is going to be up and good. Tate Kimmel now in the lane, gets it off to Almanza. Almanza drives it into the lane. Now Gertner back to Joey Schneider. His jumper from the left side off the rim and no good. A run down in the corner by Eric Kimball. Now back to Gertner. Tipped away from Gertner by Bowering into the hands of Brazil. Now back to Bowering. As they get it off to Ondak, and he drives it into the paint. Bowering now for a three, and that is up and off the rim. Gets his own long rebound. Kornick now with the rebound. And up and good for Kornick for his two in the fourth period. Back down to a four-point game again. Now Monza from the corner. His shot is going to be up, is going to be long into the hands of Bowering. Bowering takes it all the way down. His layup is going to be up and no good, but they're going to call a foul on the shot. And I believe that's going to go on Tate Kimball at will, and that will be his third. So that will send Bowering to the line to shoot two. Mustangs only up four, 46 to 42. With 3.37 to go, Bowering's first free throw is up and good. Foul shot number two coming here for Bowering, and that is up and off the front of the rim, and no good. Rebounded by Joey Snyder. Ball is going to be tipped out of a, out of bounds on the far side by Martinez. So Fort Morgan to inbounds. Side court in the back court now as Barry Kimball brings the ball up across half court. And now a timeout is going to be called by the Fort Morgan Mustangs, but it's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll just keep it here. This Fort Morgan timeout is brought to you by Early Toyota East. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, Early Toyota East in Fort Morgan will fit you into the car or truck of your choice. Serving all of Northeast Colorado, Early Toyota East. Eric Kimball with the foul trouble with four fouls, has 14 points, had 12 at halftime. Uh, Nate Gertner has been the big gun here in this fourth period with six points at back-to-back threes. So the 
Mustangs with a precarious three-point lead here with 3.27 to go. We have Joey Schneider, Eric Kimball, Tate Kimball, Brian Almanza, and Nate Gertner on the floor for the Mustangs. And they will be in possession. As Joey Schneider looks to get the ball in, and they do get it in to Almanza. Almanza he's, gets it underneath. It's going to go to Joey Schneider. Nate Gertner back to Schneider in the right corner. Joy Schneider's little jumper from the left side is up and no good. Rebounded by Coronet. Now it's going to be taken away in the backcourt by Schneider into the hands of Eric Kimball. He lines up for a three. That is up and good for Eric Kimball. Six-point lead now with 2.54 to go. Bowering now gets it into the hands of Ondak, and his three is off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Schneider as they get it into the hands of... Gertner and he is going to be tripped at the half court line by Ondak. That will be Ondak's second. So the Mustangs get the ball into Brian Almanza over on the right side. Now to Schneider from the left side, his jumper comes up just a little short. Now they get it into the hands of Brazil. Kornick now to Ondak. Ondak's going to drive it into the lane, and it's going to be up and good by Ondak. Now that shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Ondak. Mustangs up four, 49 to 45. Now they're going to call a foul at the far end. And that will go against Joey Snyder. His first. As he comes out, Trey McBride back into the game for the Mustangs. Ball underneath the Bowering. Bowering pushes uh, Tate Kimball out of the way. Now they get the ball to Eric Kimball. He's going to take it all the way down. And his layup is going to be up and no good. But little brother there is there to... Put the ball back in. Tate Kimball with a follow. Bowering now picks up his dribble. Now gets it off to Koronik. Now it's going to be try to be taken away. It is taken away by Eric Kimball. And he's going to go all the way down for the layup. Up and good for Eric Kimball. Now Fort Morgan still with full court pressure. A timeout has been called by Englewood. We'll see if that's a full timeout or looks like it will be a full timeout. So we'll take one with him here with a minute 29 to go. The Mustangs up eight on B106 and B106.com. Back here as the Inglewood Pirates have got the ball inbounds. Brazil now gets it into Ondak in the lane and he is going to be fouled by Trey McBride as Ondak head faked him and then went up over the top of uh, Ondak. So that will be McBride's third, and that will send Ondak to the line to shoot two. Ackley Building Center, your one-stop center for home improvement projects. Ackley Building Center, located at 1402 Mill Street in Brush, is your one-stop shop for flooring, paint, tools, appliances, and more. So apparently it was just a one-and-one, -and, -one and he did make the first one, so he will get the second with a minute and six to go here in this fourth period of play. We'll see if Inglewood comes out with a full court press of any type. That is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Almanza. He gets it into the hands of Kimball. Now up to Nate Gertner on the right side. Now out to Almanza as the Mustangs look to run some time off the clock. Now uh, Gary Kimball is going to go down. The foul is going to be called. I didn't catch who that was on. That's going to be on... Brazil, his first. So, Fort Morgan to inbounds far side. They get it into Almanza. Now another foul by Long as they are trying to. They need one more foul to get to the one and one with 53.9 seconds. 
as they will inbounds at midcourt as they get it in to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball to McBride. Now another foul by Long, so that will send McBride to the line to shoot a one and one. And McBride has had a good night at the free throw line. He is three of three. So we'll see if he can continue that here and get this seven point lead up to eight or nine. So Bowering comes in for Long. 49.8 seconds to go. McBride at the line to shoot a one and one. That first free throw is going to be long and no good. Rebounded by Kornick. And they get it up into the hands of Ondak. Now cross court to Brazil. Brazil launches a three and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Kornick. And now they're going to have a foul called underneath on the shot. We'll see if that goes on Almanza. Well, they're going to call that on McBride. That will be his fourth. And that will send Kornick to the line to shoot two. His first free throw is up and off the rim and no good. Joy Snyder to come in for McBride. B&J Plumbing can handle all your plumbing needs from clogged drains to a major construction project. Just give them a call at 522-3828. Novus Auto Glass, repair and replacement. Novus gets you back on the road. And that one is also off the rim and no good. And they're saying it's off of Fort Morgan. And out of bounds. So Bowering back into the game for Long. As Bowering will inbounds right baseline of their basket. Mustangs up seven. 53 to 46 as they get it now back into the corner and saved. Nice job by Eric Kimball. They get it into the hands to Kimball. Now to Tate Kimball out top. Now to Eric Kimball out on the high right wing. Now they're going to have a foul called out on the high side before the shot is up. But Eric Kimball will go to the line to shoot a one and one. And that will go against Brazil, his second. So Eric Kimball is one of two tonight from the free throw line. As Martinez goes out and Palestino comes in for the Pirates. That shot is up and good for Eric Kimball. So he will earn a second with 26.2 seconds to go. The Mustangs up 8.54.46. Next free throw is also up and good for Eric Kimball. Mustangs with their full court press again once they get the ball now into Long. Now to Ondak. Ondak into the lane. Now it's going to go underneath to Kornick, and that is up and good for Kornick for two. And a timeout is going to be taken by Inglewood, so we'll take one with him. 14.9 seconds to go. The Mustangs up 55 to 48 on B106 and B106.com. 14.9 seconds to go here in the game. The Mustangs up 55 to 48 as they will inbounds far into the court. Long pass now to Joy Schneider. And now that should be an intentional foul. And it will be an a intentional foul. So that will be two shots for the Mustangs and possession. So they will clear the lane and let Joey shoot his two. And that foul was against Palestino, his first. He he did hold him up from, from knocking him down on the floor. He could have done some damage there, but that was an intentional foul. So Schneider stands at the uh, free throw line by himself. And that was up and off the back of the rim and no good with 14 seconds to go. Joey Schneider with foul shot number two. And that one is up, in, and out. Can't buy a free throw. Schneider with six points on the night. He is 0 for 4 from the free throw line. So Eric Kimmel to inbounds for the Mustangs. Left baseline of their basket. As Eric Kimball looks to get the ball in. Gets it in to Joey Schneider. Now back to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball down to 10 seconds, tipped away from him, but take but gathered up again by Kimball. 
Now a foul is going to be called out at midcourt, and I believe that will go on on Dak. That will be his third. So that will send Eric Kimmel back to the line to shoot two, as that is the tenth team foul on Englewood. Kimball with 21 points so far tonight. Can add to that total with these two free throws with 6.6 seconds to go. And that first free throw is up and good by Eric Kimball. Eight point lead here for the Mustangs, 56 to 48. That next free throw is in and out, rebounded by Bowering. So they get it down under four seconds. Brazil now to Bowering. Bowering. And that shot is going to be up and no good by Kornick at the buzzer. So the Mustangs come away with the eight-point win, 56-48. to 48. We will take a break and then be back with the post-game show on B106 and B106.com. Back here at the end of the game, the Fort Morgan Mustangs come away with a victory tonight, 56-48. to 48. This Fort Morgan Mustangs post-game show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at www.morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. MCC, here to help you imagine your possibilities, believe in yourself, and achieve your goals. So tonight the scoring goes as this for the Inglewood Pirates. Kornick leads the way with 15, Bowering with 14, Ondak with 8, Brazil with 5, Palestino, Martinez, and Long each with two. Leading the way for the Mustangs tonight is Eric Kimball with 22 as he, excuse me, does break the all-time scoring record for the uh, Fort Morgan Mustangs. Second for the Mustangs tonight is Tate Kimball with 12. Gertner and Schneider each with six. McBride with five. Garver with three. And Brian Almanza with two for the Fort Morgan 56. Fort Morgan was 9 of 17 from the free throw line for 52%. Eric Kimball hit three big ones there right towards the end of the uh, quarter to break that open just a little bit. Uh, Gertner had two big threes uh, in that fourth period also for his uh, six points tonight. As far as turnovers go, Fort Morgan with 20 and Englewood with 19. Fort Morgan out rebounded Englewood 33 to 22. So the Mustangs come away with the uh, victory tonight. End up the year 12 and 2 in the league and 17 and 6 overall. So they will now wait for the pairings to come out uh, Sunday afternoon for the state playoffs and see where they end up going from there. Also wanted to make a shout out to the uh, Fort Morgan wrestling team as they are in the uh, uh, state wrestling tournament in uh, at the Pepsi Center in Denver. Chris Schreiber, Frank Rosales, Jacob Fritzler, Jesus Ibarra, Alex Mai, and Toby McBride for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. And that will conclude, the wrestling will conclude Saturday night So they will have a full day of wrestling tomorrow and also on Saturday. So uh, good luck to the Mustangs as they participate in the state wrestling tournament. So our next broadcast will not be until next Friday, and I don't know if we'll have the boys or girls at that time, but uh, just listen to uh, John Beltrander, and he will let you know probably Monday anyway where the tournament will be going for the boys and girls. And that's we will be at one of those games. So we're going to go ahead and close this out tonight. The sound engineer and producer for Morgan Mustangs basketball has been Michaela Clipper. For Claudia Nickel, I'm Brian Nickel. Once again, the final score tonight for Morgan boys, 56 to 48. Englewood Pirates. You've been listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs basketball on B106 and B106.com.